this game was absolutely inexcusable. This is a game that the Lakers should, and they, they should have won this game. This is a game that they should have won, and they didn't finish the game. It is like, you know, look, I defend the Lakers constantly. I defend, you know, many players. I defend Russ regularly. I do my best to try to be optimistic. But when you just lose a game, I have to, I have to call you out. You know, like, I believe in being fair. I am somebody that values, you know, fair criticism, fair, you know, just across the board. You know, if Russ does well, I compliment Russ. If the Lakers do well, I compliment the Lakers. But when this game is a game that you should have won, you were winning, leading in the fourth quarter. You were up and had a solid third quarter. Everything was looking good. Three-point shooting was terrible, but defensively, you guys were great. You guys were doing good. You held them to 106 points, and it just you just fell apart. This is a game that the Lakers should have won. This is a game that the Lakers needed to win. And you ended up losing because you couldn't close at the end of games. And this is the problem that we had last year. So many games the Lakers were in. So many games the Lakers had an opportunity to win. And they just couldn't close and finish the job. That's what happened today. The Lakers were up. You get outscored 28 to 21 in the fourth quarter. It's inexcusable. Like, this is just an inexcusable game. Um, it's just, I don't know. It, it's just, it's it's rough. It is. It's rough. You know, and I've I've done a lot of defending. I've done a lot of, you know, hey, it's early. It's this, it's that. But look. This is a game that there's just no excuses for. There's no excuses for this game. None. This was a game that the Lakers just lost. That they just weren't, that they just didn't execute properly. They didn't complete. They didn't finish. And it just, it's disappointing. This is a disappointing game. And I try to be very fair. This is a team that now three straight games has shot under 20%. Right? They're shooting 22% for the season. Now, I do believe that they will average out eventually. But how long is it going to be before they average out? You know, because, I mean, look, our next two games are against Denver and Minnesota. Like, I, we're not beating those teams the way that we're playing right now. We're not. It's just not going to happen. You know, like, and it's just so we're 0-5. It's just, I'm not saying the Lakers need to panic. I'm not saying panic trade. I'm not saying anything. They need to figure it out. They need to spend, you know, an extra hour or two at the end of every every day shooting threes, shooting free throws, shooting whatever. Like this, they need to figure out a way to get back into games. Because this was this is a game that they should have won. If this was a game, you know, like I talked about the last game, right? The last game against the Clippers, that was a good win. Or that was a good loss. Sorry. That was a good loss. You know, and I do believe that there are good losses and bad losses. This was a bad loss. There is no good loss in this game. The Lakers lost because they just couldn't finish the game. LeBron James is taking half-court air balls and just, it just, we just don't look good as a team right now. Defensively, we're fine. We're playing great defense. Great defense. We lead the league in turnovers. Like, or, uh, or uh, uh, steals, sorry. Like, we lead the league in steals. We, the Blazers had 19 turnovers, and we still lost. You know, like, it's just, it's unbelievable. Like, this is, this is not what this team is supposed to be. We had 26 assists on 41 made field goals. We shot 6 of 33 from 3. We... We equated for 20 or 19, sorry, 19 turnovers. We got out rebound 52 to 40, 13 to 10 on the offensive rebound. This is just a bad game. This was just, this was not good. This is not how the Lakers need to perform. They can't rebound, they can't knock down threes. And they just, they can't close out games. It's three games in. I understand that. 
But at some point, it's like, when do we start holding things accountable? And look, I am, I have taken so much slack, so much slack sticking up for the Lakers. So much, right? I've had people just tell me like, look, I would subscribe if you just, you know, told reality and blah, 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 blah. But the last two games, I believe the Lakers look good. They look good defensively. They were getting stops. They were just weren't hitting shots. Those were both winnable games, right? The, the Clippers game I thought was a good loss. The Warriors game was a game that I think if we just knocked down 20% of the shots that we missed, we would have won. This Blazers game, inexcusable. This is an inexcusable game. And I believe in honesty and fairness. Again, if the Lakers look good and they lose, I will defend them. If the Lakers look bad and they and they win, I will defend them. You know, hey, look, we got it in an ugly loss, blah, 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 whatever. But when you just look bad and you're not closing out games, you're getting out rebound, you're just not looking like a good team, and we're 0-3, at some point, we got to change things up. Got to. You know, like, there wasn't one individual responsible. This was a game that collectively, as a team, we should have won. This wasn't on one specific player. I know everyone's going to blame Russell Westbrook because he's the scapegoat, but Russ was fine. 10-6-6. He had zero turnovers. He played 28 minutes. So it wasn't, he played basically bench minutes. So this wasn't on Russ. This was on everybody. Every, this was on everybody. And I mean everybody. This was just not a good game. This was not a game that we can hang our hat on. This wasn't a good loss, right? Like I said, like I said against the Clippers, good loss is bad loss. This was not a good loss. This was a bad loss. This was a loss that we should have won this game. And we lost it. We lost it. They didn't beat us. We lost this game. And we can't have... This is what. This is why so many people bring up, oh, we look like the team like last year. Look, this team is nowhere near the team that we were last year. But they do have a lot of the same problems that the team last year had. Poor third quarters, poor rebounding, poor shooting, uh, you know, not closing and finishing out games. Those are all things that we did last year. And we need to be able to do better this year. This roster we have right now is much better than the team we had last year. Whether people want to believe it or admit it or not, this is a roster we had that is much better than the team we had last year. Problem is, we're still going falling into the same habits, same issues, same problems. This is just this wasn't a good game. This was a game we came out firing. You know, we were up, what, 10 to 2 or something like that? And then we were playing catch up. And then we got back into it. And then we took the lead. And then we had a great third, I mean, great third quarter. We looked great. And I was like, finally, a third quarter where we don't just get ran out the building and we have a chance to win. I mean, we outscored them 35 to 23 in the third quarter. And then just laid an egg in the fourth. We had so many opportunities to win this game. This is a game that the Lakers undoubtedly should have won. That the Lakers should have undoubtedly finished this game off and got the W. Like, Eric, let's let's look at it like this. With 238 remaining. Oh, here, even better. 156 remaining. We were up seven points. We were up 102 to 95. And in basically two minutes, we got outscored 2 to 11. In two minutes, we got outscored 11 to 2. That is unacceptable to close out a game. That is not how you're going to win games. And I defend the Lakers as much as I possibly can. But this is an undefensible game. This is a game that they just they just didn't show up. They just didn't perform the way that they needed to down the stretch. This is a game that we should have won. This is a game that should have been easily our first win of the season. And we just didn't close. We didn't execute. We just we just didn't. You know? And so, it's disappointing. It is. It's dis now, again, we need to, you know, 
have cooled expectations. I know that I just went on a rant <laughs> and just lost my mind. But it's three games. We have positives. We have negatives. We know what we need to work on. I still think the Lakers average out. I still think the Lakers sooner or later are going to start knocking down shots. We're not going to be a 20% three-point shooting team the entire season. That'd be like one of the worst, that'd be the worst three-point shooting team in NBA history. So we're not going to be that bad. Now, I don't think we're going to be elite. I don't think we're going to be great or anything like that. Um, there's always things that you can build on and grow on in a loss. My problem is, is that this is a game that we shouldn't have lost. This is a game that we undoubtedly should have won, and we just did it. And it's just, it's, uh, it's disappointing, D to say the least. It is disappointing. This is not how this game should have went. We were looking great. But three games in, we cannot go 0-5. If we go 0-5, it's, it's time to start panicking. It's time to start figuring something out. It's time to start calling up teams and give up both firsts. We, because, look, if we go 0-5, the problem is, is that, like, it, our schedule doesn't get any easier. And it's like, after 20 games, if we're 2-20, and 20, you know, or 2-18, and 18, like, it's not going to, like, we need to win the games that we should be winning. Or that we should win. And this Blazers game was a game that we should have won. So we just lost a game that we should have won. You know, we've technically, we've lost three games that we should have won. You know, and it's like at some point we got to make an adjustment and change. We can't just rely on things that happen. And I'm not saying it has to be the Russell Westbrook trade. I'm saying you got to start shaking stuff up. You know, if we go 0 and 5, you have to start shaking stuff up. Whether it's just bringing Russ off the bench, whether it's moving Kendrick Nunn, who hasn't looked very good. Uh, and look, I have talked so highly of Kendrick Nunn. I have talked about how I think Kendrick Nunn is, is, could be our third best player. You know, how Kendrick, I, I have talked so incredibly high on Kendrick Nunn, but he's just, he's not like, he's not doing it. So if we have to move Kendrick Nunn or we have to move some of these other guys um, to, to try to go get pieces that can help, then I think we got to do it. You know, I don't want them to rush and force a Russell Westbrook trade. Because I do think trades are going to be out there. But at some point, it's like, you know, if we're 0-5, 0-6, whatever, we got to we gotta do something. We got to. This is a game we should have won. We should have been 1-2. and two. We should have, you know, been going into, you know, Denver in the Minnesota game. Like, okay, let's get one or if not two of these wins. You know, we should have been, you know, 2-3 and three with a you know, sort of idea and identity. Instead, we're 0-3. We don't look very good. We're not hitting shots. We're not able to close out games. And we're playing two legit playoff teams. I just, you know, it's rough. It's a tough spot to be in. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think that, you know, hey, yeah, this was just a bad loss. Do you think that, like, no, it's okay, everything will be good? However you feel, good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. I just, I can't defend this loss. I can't. This is a loss that is indefensible. It's a loss that, you know, like, I'm not so foolish and just, you know, fanboy that I can't see a bad loss when I see a bad loss. This is a bad loss. But again, love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below.